Uh, one of the stories that grabbed my attention this week, Ian, was Amazon filtering out bogus reviews. And I wanted to ask you guys, um, what are your what are your key indicators? Well, the, first of all, this, the story is that Amazon's AI lab is going to uh, bring in um, algorithmic uh, software that's basically combing through the reviews, trying to figure out which ones are are BS. Uh, the estimates are somewhere between 10 and 20% of all reviews online are, are made up or written by someone who has, uh, and is not editorially, uh, an interest in, yeah, yeah. Least, the ones they can detect. The yeah. Yeah. What, so what are your tips for figure? What do you, what makes you think, Hmm, that one's too on point. That's a fakey. Are you like, what are your dead giveaways? You've got basically got to look at who's who's doing the reviewing and what reviews they've done in the past. That's a very good... I mean, with stuff like Yelp, for example, you can easily see if someone's got one review and one friend, you in instantly discount that review. Um, I think Amazon's got the kind of compute energy to to do this, but they're also missing out on a rich vein of hu of humour. Uh, since the Mad... <laughs> mm -hmm. well, no, since the Mad Max I'm film I'm with you, out, Ian. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I'm sad. I'm like, I like some of the fake reviews are the best things about exactly. Amazon. I mean, they remember the Mad Max hilarious. film that so just started uh, where they spray, the, the, the war boys spray their, their face with, with silver spray paint? You can now buy on Amazon sort of cakes, <laughs> silver spray paint. And the top review there is, what a spray, what a lovely spray. And it's, you read that, you can't help laughing. It, it, it makes the review so much better. I mean, yes, obviously they want to take out the financially, you know, tainted reviews right. and people that are just there to screw over the particular company involved. But it all depends on how it's done. And based on AI systems so far, I think they could lose more than they gain on this one. Well, I think what they said is it's going to be uh, if it's verified. So if they know that you bought the product from Amazon, which is kind of something that you would think they would be doing already. They have this red line, which I never noticed before covering this story this week, that says, verified purchase. Yeah. Never mm. noticed that ever in all the reviews I've read. So just whoosh. Um, but that will be a part of the ranking. Then they're going to be allow uh, other readers to thumbs up or thumbs down the mm -hmm. reviews. That'll be part of it. And then I'm just wondering if they're looking for keywords or, you know, if it's just going to be something that's, you know, if it's totally over the top and effusive, then maybe it's a giveaway. I don't know. Yeah, I always wonder the opposite too. I wonder how many companies are going in there to their competitors and trying to spike their product by um uh by you know doing negative reviews. Um mm -hmm. sure. because I see I see plenty of that where like a product will have it'll have glowing reviews, like seven, eight, you know, nine glowing reviews and, and one sort of really um sort of nondescript negative review that's just like I'm never buying this product again. It didn't do what it promised. And, um, you know, worst thing I ever bought. And I'm just kind of like, hmm, that sort of doesn't and sound... And I'm buying like this me. product instead. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That too, yeah. Right. yeah. Well, so, I think yeah. you're right. There's definitely the, the, you know, I've always gone with the read the three, four, and five. The, the two, three, and four stars. You know, never read the five and the one. But then I think <laughs> I'm just so, I'm just so like swayed easily by positive things that I end up reading the fives and going, oh, it's going to be great. You see, I'm the opposite. I, I, it's The internet has made <laughs> holiday planning an absolute nightmare <laughs> because, you know, you, you decide where you're going to go. You, then you start reading the online reviews and it's just like, no, we can't go there. The curtain's got a terrible review in that hotel. And sort of <laughs> or one person's experience with a cockroach one time ruins yeah. this hotel. I, I mean, I can't even imagine being a proprietor of any of these like little B&Bs or whatever. They just get slagged off. And but if you're in a large company, there are media companies who will explicitly say, we will hire a whole bunch of people, probably in, in the Far East or India, who will write good or bad reviews depending on what you offer. And this kind of uh, fake astroturfing of, of review sites is a serious problem. If Amazon can get the AI right, this could be a really big help. But, you know, to err is human, to really screw things up, you need computers. So, <laughs> and, and also, humans are still smarter than AI at this point. They figure out whatever, whatever Amazon does figure out, you know, humans will figure out a way to, to get around it. Whether it's these companies that do this professionally, like you're saying, Ian, um, they hire people to go and actually buy the product, be verified, and then... Um, you know, do the review and then uh, whatever within the 30 day, 29 days, they, they ship it back and, um, uh, you know, and get their refund. Uh, I mean, humans are smart enough to get around it, uh, if they want. And the Amazon system, I think shows that is the Amazon, um, reviews just so much of it looks like fluff and, and doesn't look very real, um, anymore. I think 10 to 20% is being very generous. That's 10 to 20% that they can maybe, 
um, of what they've detected, I think it's a lot higher than that. 